Hello, good evening, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I sincerely thank you for joining me on Great Life with Dr. Foma. Today is the 29th day of September 2024, and it's my pleasure that you joined me. Please, if you can hear me clearly, can you indicate by typing a one on the chat? Wonderful. So let us start. Father in heaven, we are grateful to you. We are thankful. We are not taking your message for granted. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for helping us. Thank you for keep putting food on our table. Things are so difficult everywhere, but you have kept us. You said that you have not seen the son of the righteous begging for bread. Father, we will not beg for bread. We thank you for how far you have led us throughout this month of September. Today is September 29th, 2024. Tomorrow, September will come to an end and a new month will start. Father, we thank you. We are grateful for where we are, we thank you. For where we hope to be, we thank you. We are not in grace and we can't be. You have done 20 things well, 90 things well, except one. Father, for that one, we can't be ungrateful. Father, we say thank you. As we go into our episode today, episode 257, we are going to look at ways to combat rejection, rejection on all forms. Father, we pray that you heal us. Many of us that need healing, you heal us. And many of us that need to do some things differently to change the position and the situation where they are, you will help us. Father, we thank you. Thank you for my audience. Thank you for all the people that are, since the inception of this program, they have been consistent. Father, we thank you. Blessed be thy name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you so, so very much. I sincerely thank you for joining. Last week, we dealt on rejection, especially people looking for visa. We may not have time to go to all the other rejections, but rejection is rejection. Anyhow you look at it. Today, we are going to look at healthy ways to combat rejection. Healthy ways and healthy ways. Please, if you're a co-host and somebody's mic is up, kindly click on that person's name and meet the person so that the person will not record the program. Thank you for joining. Tonight, we want to be fast and we want to start the, uh, keeping to a particular time. So we'll, let's do a test run. Tonight, we are looking at healthy ways to cope with rejection. Somebody's mic is still up. Who is that person? Healthy ways to cope with rejection. Healthy ways to cope with rejection. Healthy ways to cope with rejection. Number one, you have to let go of self-blame. Many of us that are rejected, we feel there is a, what we call self-blame. You begin to blame yourself and the reason why they rejected me and the reason this and the reason that, you have to let go of self-blame. Sometimes rejection happens because of a mistake we made, but ruminating on blame can get into the way of moving forward. One of the things you do for yourself is to jettison self, self blame. Don't bother yourself about what the other person is thinking about. The person may not even be thinking about anything that's not right. So one of the ways, to, healthy ways to cope with rejection is let go of self blame. Number two, see opportunities for growth. See opportunities for growth. Even if the rejection is due to a mistake, you know, I tell people, you made a mistake, but you are not a mistake. They are, they are, this statement is loaded. You made a mistake, but you are not a mistake. It is important as a parent, when you do, a child does something, demarcate between the offense and the child. And that's when you heal out of what the child did. And that's when the correction will come. See opportunities for growth. 
Even if the rejection is due to a mistake, you can take the opportunity to learn from it and change how you would approach a similar situation in the future. Engage in self-care. You know, when we talked about when we talked about self-love, among self-love, one of them is self-care. Many of us don't practice self-care. You, you may think that self-care is being selfish. It's not. Engage in self-care. It can be easy to get stuck in feelings of rejection, especially if you deal with rejection-sensitive diarrhea. Be gentle with yourself. Many of us don't have mercy on ourselves. At times, just pamper yourself. Go and eat that food you want to eat. Go to that spa. Go and make your fingers. Go and do, just relax. You can go under the tree and relax. Cross your leg. You can sip ice cream. It's not a sin. It can be easy to get stuck in feelings of rejection, especially if you deal with rejection, sensitive, there's phoria. Be gentle with yourself and utilize coping skills that help you care for yourself. You must care for yourself because you are the coco. If anything happens to you, every other thing is every other thing is gone. Then number three, feel your emotions. You know, they told us that men don't cry. It's not true. Men cry. Women cry. And crying is very, very therapeutic. If you are going through stuff and there is a something, you cry. You cry. Don't allow anybody to tell you that crying is not part of it. Emotions demand to be felt. You have to feel your emotion. It can be tempting to bottle up unpleasant feelings, to move past them faster, but this can cause them to come back more intensely later. It is okay to honor your feelings. If you, are feeling guilt, if you feel guilty about certain things, accept it. It's an emotion. If you feel anger, Excuse me, if you feel hot, accept it, but then move forward. Don't just remain there. The next one is list your successes. Anytime you begin to see yourself being rejected on a particular thing, recall other things you've done well and you were not rejected. Remember that rejection is specific to the situation. Even if it feels bigger than that, it can help to remind you to remind yourself of, of times when you were successful. You may be rejected in one job, but other things you've been doing all your life, you have been, always been succeeding. When people do things, they do it, they don't succeed, but you go there, you succeed. So re recall, begin to recall all the other ones that you have done very well. I don't know whether you are following me on this conversation tonight. This is our episode 257, and the program is Great Life with Dr. Former. And it airs every Sunday evening, 8 p.m. Nigerian time. Dr. Afoma is reaching you live from Berlin in Germany. You see, anywhere Dr. Afoma is, any part, in any part of the world, she always anchors this program, except she brings in a guest, showing you that dedication, passion, and commitment. You must be committed. Commitment, consistency. This is our episode 257. This program started on the 22nd day of September 2019. 20, uh, Last Sunday was exactly five years of this program and it has been running. So I don't know what God has asked you to do. Don't, don't bother yourself about what people will say, just start it. And by the time you know it, you see it going. Dr. Foma is not a medical doctor. She has a PhD in guidance and counseling from with psychology from the University of Lagos, that was seven years ago, 2017. And in 2018, the Lord gave us a program called Unkufu Challenge. We are starting up our Unkufu Challenge tomorrow. Many of us already know, although the announcement is coming now, but many of us already know. Between tomorrow, Monday, and next Sunday, you have three days of your choice. Just go without eating anything cooked in fire by fire. If you can't go three days straight, you can do two days, you can do one day, but make sure that what, why do we do that? We want to detoxify our system and then allow our organs to rest because all our organs, they are working hard to, to, two, four, seven, every day, every month, every year. You just allow them. 
And basically, what are we supposed to be eating? You eat fruits, but most importantly, you eat veggies. Because fruits are cleansers, vegetables are nourishers. Once you cleanse out the system, make sure you nourish them. So our Uncle Food Challenge is starting tomorrow, 20, the 30th day of September. It will run till next Sunday. So any opportunity you have, go without eating cooked food, and you'll be glad. Then you take a lot of water. You don't fast. You are not fasting. Please don't fast. Make sure that you are eating something, but that thing will not be cooked in the on fire. We have listed out how many ways let go of the self-blame, see opportunities for growth, engage in self-care, feel your emotions, and list your successes. Then let us look at unhealthy ways to cope with rejection. What I've listed above, they are healthy ways to cope with rejection. So if you are joining us and you are already here, we are. if you are coming for the first time, we welcome you sincerely. This program airs every Sunday evening, 8 p.m. Nigerian time. Now it's after nine, Berlin time. Berlin is one hour ahead of Nigeria. So everywhere you are on Sunday, every eight o'clock Nigerian time, always save the, the link. It's the same link you will see us here. I don't know if you got value from what I've shared with us, the healthy ways to cope with rejection. If you do, please can you type 222 on the chat. Then I'll tell us the unhealthy ways and 10 things to do when you feel rejection. Remember, rejection is when people or situation denies you something that you long for. When they deny you an opportunity, when they say they don't want you, maybe in a job that you are not qualified, that this happened or the other thing happened, or you wrote an exam and you failed, to you, you are rejected. But you shouldn't be personal because that rejection is specific for that event. It doesn't mean that you are, you are a failure. Mm -mm. Please don't think like that. Unhealthy ways to cope with re rejection. Number one, don't take it personally. Again, rejection in one situation is not an indication of your overall worth. Remember that it is specific and situational and it likely has nothing to do with you. Please, don't take it personal. Many people take it personal. Maybe they went for a job interview, they rejected them. They will say that they will not go for any job interview again. It's not right. Number two, unhealthy way to cope with rejection is don't compare yourself to others. One of the deadliest thing you will do to yourself as a human being is to compare yourself with another person. Mm -mm. The person you are comparing yourself, I told us the story about when I came down with high blood pressure. The doctor told me, Dr. Wallace, be your own doctor. Be 100% responsible for your health. Because the doctor that is treating you may be having serious, more serious health challenges more than you. She asked me, do you know the, what I'm battling with? I said, I don't know. He said, you see, yours is just at the borderline. Make sure you do this, do this, do this, and you'll be fine. And I did that. And from 2013 to date, I've not taken high blood pressure drugs. It doesn't mean that my, my blood pressure doesn't go up. It goes up, but I know what to do. One of the things you will do is to rest. If you want to know what my cardiologist told me in 2013 that helped me to come out of high blood pressure till date, you can go to my YouTube channel, look for a video overcoming high blood pressure naturally, what my cardiologist told me. It's a, it's, it's a video. You, you will love it. So number two, don't compare yourself to others. Rejection can stink even more when we see someone as succeeding where we feel we are short. We are all on our own journey. And it is okay if your story looks different from someone else's. You see me, some people will see me say, say, Doki, why are you? There are so many information you give about yourself, this, that, that. I know gauge. I know where to stop. I know where to help people. I know when to say this is, this is. I know when to keep quiet. And I know when to say something that will encourage somebody. Because I found out that many of us, my own category at my age, we didn't know, we didn't have um, role models, especially when it comes to maybe career and uh, marriage. And many of us made mistakes. 
I know somebody, he's a medical doctor, but he has not practiced medicine for one day. Because he said, if I had known what I know now, I wouldn't have studied medicine and wasted my time. I would have just gone to study single honors chemistry. Somebody also told me, if I know what I know, I was just discussing with my daughter, just recent, before I came up, about a particular woman. We call her Dr. Icon. She did so well. I think she had the best eight results from her university. And, and her youth service, she, she, a man came from overseas to marry her. I don't know whether they didn't ask questions. He just engaged her at the airport. I saw all these things. They got married. That marriage didn't last for two years. I tell you the truth. So now, will you say she is educated, but there are certain things she didn't know about relationship. So you see that your, diff your life may be different from other person. It doesn't make you less. You see me, Dr. Afoma, no human being on earth can, will I stand with, I will feel inferior, never. For waiting now, for waiting, please don't compare yourself with others. That's on a healthy way to deal with rejection. Your husband died. You didn't kill your husband. So why will you, somebody make you feel less because the husband is alive? Oh, just develop yourself. Package yourself well. Make sure you don't have pity party around you. Do what you're supposed to do. You are a woman on, of honor. Put yourself in honor. And then you, you live your life. If you want to remarry, you are free. If you don't want to remarry, you want to remain with your children, fine and good. This is, decision is yours. So do not allow anybody to make you feel bad, please. Number three, don't downplay your uh, feelings. Rejection is painful. Anybody that's telling you that, because nobody got married to be separated or to be divorced. Nobody got married to, especially when you have your parents aged well. Nobody got married to, to have the husband die or the wife die or anything happen. No, please don't feel, don't downplay your feelings. I remember the young girl that the husband died in a road crash. They gave her injection. After two years, she just asked the mother one day, call the husband's name. This travel he traveled, is he, he, is he not coming back? Why am I only with the children here? By the time you know it, that, that woman became a psychiatric patient and she's dead now. So let people cry. Don't tell people how to mourn. Don't tell people how to grieve. Something happened to me last year. When... <laughs> <laughs> At times, I will, my daughter will ask because that woman was over me. She said, hey, this one, this one. You know, I don't give up on people. I, 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 I like to keep relationship. At a point, I told her, please, ma, can you give up on me? Because what you are doing to me is driving me nuts. I will wake up in the morning. The first thing I will see, quotations of the Bible. I said, I don't need that now because mentally, I, I can't even do that. What you can do for me is to pray for me. Or you just tell me it is well. God is in control. That's what I need. Stop telling me, go and, go and begin to do this, do that, do that. So please don't allow anybody to tell you how to heal. Grieve the way you want to grieve, but make sure you don't deny your feelings. Rejection is painful. You may feel tempted to downplay your emotional reaction if you feel like, like others have it worse, but your feelings are still valid and deserve to be felt. Your feelings are valid. They are valid. If you are joining us for the first time, this is great life with Dr. Afoma. And we are making meaning out of our conversation tonight. Can you please indicate by typing a 333 on the chat? We are talking about healthy and unhealthy ways to overcome rejection. Many of us, one time or the other, we have come face to face with rejection. You may get married, the, the family you got married into, they don't like you. Your mother-in-law doesn't like you. It's a rejection. So your father-in-law may not like you. This person may not like you. You come to a church, somebody looks at you, you dress very well. They don't like you. The pastor's wife may reject you from the time you enter that church. But then you don't have to reject yourself. Igbo people say, the person that is rejected, you don't reject yourself. So please, by all means and by every mean, make sure you love yourself. Number four, don't give up. You see, 
if many of you that follow me on my Facebook page recently, you always see where I said, if you don't give up, you must get good things come to you. Giving up is not an option. If you must win, you must never quit. If you must win, you must never quit. You can grow past this and be successful in the future. So you don't need to grow up. You don't, you don't need to give up. How can I deal with the fear of rejection? So many people feel fear of rejection. You know, they have rejected you in one place. You are afraid they will reject you again. What do you do? Number one, as you go through life, you will inevitably encounter rejection. It doesn't stop with mother-in-law, father-in-law, husband, and, and the immediate family. It may happen in your workplace. It may happen in your church. It may happen in the market. A particular person doesn't like you. Have you not noticed you go to church or you go to market to buy something? A woman, when she sees you, she turns her face. It is your money, but she doesn't want you. One of the things you do to overcome rejection, I have done that personally. Don't go to where you are not celebrated. Any place that you are not celebrated, don't go there. And when people don't invite you in, in their occasions, in their programs, don't go there. Don't go there. Don't make yourself second class. Always carry that, that aura around you that I am a child of the king. I am a daughter of God. I'm, I'm a prince. I'm a, I'm a son of God. So nobody has the power to bring me down. Now, as you go through life, you will inevitably encounter rejection. Understand that you can overcome these painful, painful feelings and move forward. Remember that you are not alone and your experience is valid. Your experience is valid. Have you not seen the man that invented the light? Do you know how many times he failed? He failed up to, is it 99 times? On the hundred times, he got it. Some people that became bestsellers today, no publisher could publish their works because they felt they are not okay. But they kept, up, kept at it, kept improving themselves, and their books became bestsellers. Now, it takes vulnerability and courage to keep trying in the face of rejection. And you can get somewhere amazing when you continue pushing forward. It takes vulnerability. You know, one of the things that happen to people, people are too, I don't know, maybe, maybe because of society, they don't open up. I tell people, the greatest place, the fastest place where you can assess help is your social contact, not the church. Put me anywhere. The protocols that are in the church, by the time help will come to you, you are already dead. But it's a friend that you put a call across to. Sis, bros, oga, ma. See, I have a, a, that is something that is very critical. Please, can you help me? I'm in a bad situation now. And the doctor said this, the doctor said this, this, that. I tell you the truth. If that friend of yours doesn't have, she will call two, three people. I tell people, if in your circle of friends, you want a million naira, and in one hour, you can't get a million naira from five people that you call friends, you are keeping a poor company. Change that company. I tell you the truth. Change that company. You can change your friends. Don't bother. You have known her since primary school. If there is no value, if there is no impact, you don't need that. Everybody comes into a, somebody's life for a purpose. If the purpose of that person has been achieved, don't carry excess luggage, excess baggage. Leave the baggage and go. In your life, God has positioned... One of the prayers you pray for yourself, oh God, at every stage of my life, send me people that will help me on that level. If you are getting value from our discussion tonight, please can you indicate by typing a 444 on the chat. This is Great Life with Dr. Afoma and Great Life as every Sunday evening, 8 p.m. Nigerian time. Dr. Afoma is not a medical doctor. She has a PhD in guidance and counseling from the University of Lagos, 13 years ago, and the Lord called her to the Ministry of Health and Wellness in 2017. And she has been running with that vision. In 2019, she told, he, the Lord told her, start this program, Great Life with Dr. Afama. And I tell you, great life exists. I live a great life. 
You know, people will be surprised. So many things may be happening to you, but your response to those things, they are the things that mark you out. They don't know where you are drawing your strength. That's why I tell people, don't move with fools. Even the Bible said that the companion of fools shall be destroyed. He that must be wise, you must work with wise people. Iron, sharpness, iron. If you are not adding value to my life and I'm not adding to your life, there is no... The Bible says two cannot work together except they be agreed. Please. So you are here because you felt Dr. Afoma has something to offer you. If not, you can be watching BB Niger or you can be doing any other thing, including how to move from how to move on from rejection. Ten steps to help you move forward. Number one step. Okay, if you keep moving forward after experiencing rejection, then you can use the experience as a catalyst for personal growth and positive change. If you are not sure where you start, then these 10 steps can help you. Number one, acknowledge your feelings. They are important. Don't beat a child and tell that child how to cry. You know, how, then it, it, they will beat a child. If I hear it film from your mouth, mm -mm. if you have anything that happens to you adversely, react. It may be you, you know, moving out from the circle of people. You may decide, I don't want to pick anybody's call. Let nobody tell you how to grieve. Let nobody tell you how to process your healing. The healing must come from you and not from any other person. The highest anybody can do for you when you have any issue is to pray for you. To pray for you. They may just send you texts. Sis, I'm, I just want to know how you are doing. I'm just checking up on you. You don't need to put Bible. Good, good, good. You know, so many people use Christianity to dabaru a lot of things. I told that woman, please, give up on me. You are stressing my life. And she did. And I'm fine. Acknowledge your feelings. It's important to give yourself permission to feel sad. Crying is permitted. Sadness is there. There are emotions. After all, there was a time Jesus was angry. He chased people out of, out of the temple. When he went to Lazarus' tomb, he cried, he wept. Let nobody deceive you. Men, don't cry. Women, if you want to cry, cry. But make sure you don't cry before your enemies. Cry before God. I tell people, if I kneel before God, I can stand with any man. Make sure you, are, you have a relationship with God. It's important to give yourself permission to feel sad, disappointed, or frustrated without judgment. Don't judge yourself. You are not an idiot. A young lady chatted me before I came to Europe that she's getting out of her mind, that the mother will be badmouthing her, telling her she's not yet married because uh, she has done so many abortions, this, that. And the young girl told me, I've never done any abortion in my life. My mother said, I'm useless. The first thing I told her, you are not useless. And that was the only thing I told her. She repeated it. I am not useless. And she had never chatted me. I told her, you are not useless. So please reaffirm yourself. Don't put yourself down. Many people are angry that you are happy. And many people are happy that you, that you are sad. Let that, let that get into your head. You see now that I'm in Europe, many people are having ulcers. Hey, how can this one? Eee, we thought we have got her. So, and express, express yourself. Don't have any apology to offer anybody. Just make sure you're on your guard. Be wise. Number two, reflect on the experience. Ask yourself, what can you learn from the rejection and how it can contribute to your personal development? I tell people, the surest way to come out of rejection is self-development. Develop yourself. If they met you as, as NCE holder, make sure you have a beard. If they met you as beard, Make sure you have a master's. If they met you as a master, make sure you have a PhD. You can go to school. You can go to online school. You can improve yourself. You don't have to take permission from them. And you don't have validation. You don't need their validation to feel good about yourself. So reflect on the experience. Practicing acceptance is the first step towards acknowledging rejection and turning it into a learning experience one of the ways to move forward in your life is to improve of improve what you are doing if you are making soup make sure you make the soup better 
If you're selling rice, make sure you package it well. Anything you are doing, if you're selling Zobo, I saw someone, one of us, I don't know whether she's on the call, she was used to sell Zobo. I saw her make a, a beautiful flyer. I said, hey, hey, this is a step forward. Don't remain where they kept you because oh, you say circumstances and people, they will keep you where they want you to be. But you are a child of God and God made human beings for movement. Move. That's why you have a child, the child is sucking. The time that child is supposed to be sitting down, he's not sitting down, you become worried. At a point, the child will stand. At a point, the child will start uh, walking. At a child, will start, will start, will start uh, uh, running up and down. So make sure there is movement. Do not allow yourself to be kept where they kept you. If you are joining us for the first time, this is Great Life with Dr. Afoma. And Great Life airs every Sunday evening, 8 p.m. Nigerian time. Great Life is a program of Healthy Race Ministry International. And in Healthy Race Ministry International, you can become a part of our ministry by engaging in three days on Kufu Challenge. It must be three consecutive days, any three days of your choice, and you'll be member of, you become a member of our group. And then on Sundays, 8 p.m., we have this program. So you can always come or you can visit my YouTube channel, Dr. Foreman Wolisa, and you see a whole lot. One of the greatest series I have done in this program is setting healthy boundaries, setting healthy boundaries, because many of us, they, we don't know how to say no without feeling guilty. Go to my YouTube channel, look for that tape, setting healthy boundaries. They are in series. What you are supposed to do per time, it will help you. And the moment you get yourself in order, you fly, you fly. The next one, practice self-compassion. Many of us don't have compassion on ourselves. We are too hard. Excuse me, pity yourself. Pity yourself, please. Avoid self-criticism and instead offer yourself the empathy and care you would extend to a good friend. That thing you could, good to, you could do to a good friend, extend it to you. At times, just put your legs on, on, on the pillow and enjoy good music. Enjoy freshness. Take your, go and buy something, something you like. Eh? Some of us, we say they are, they are training their children from generation to generation. At the end of the day, the children you are training, they don't even care about you. You are, you are fortunate if you have a child in this age and generation that's compassionate. So I tell parents, I tell people, look for what to do to help what your children will give you. Don't be totally dependent on them. Excuse me, don't do that. Practice self-compassion. Number four, engage in self-care. Self-care can never be overemphasized. Some people are missing you where you used to be, not because they love you or they value you, but because there is something you are doing that you are no more doing. If you follow me lately, you see a woman asked me, said, where do I get this uh, these quotes? I don't do any argument. I just remove my presence. I won't give you the opportunity dis to dishonor me twice. It's not done. If you do it twice, then I'm a fool. So engage in self-care. Prioritize activities that promote your well-being, your well-being, your well-being and realization. See me, I'm here in Europe. I'm relaxing. Relaxing. I'll just eat, sleep. Me, I'm not a TV person. I may go to social media, do one, one or two things. I sleep. Yeah, I sleep. The time I come back, you see me in Nigeria, we we'll start again. Even at that, you have to help yourself. This might include exercise. You know, I tell people, if you want to live well, you must engage in exercise. Today in Berlin, there was a 42.2 kilometer um, marathon. They blocked most of the roads. Many of the, where we went today, we went to three. We went with three. Because it was when we were coming back. You see them, oh, the young, see them with their medals. So I was asking, why are they wearing medals? I said, the people that crossed the last line, even if they went there any time, but they crossed. But if you don't cross, they won't give you the medal. So exercise is good for your psyche because your body only releases certain hormones when you do exercise. I'm not telling you to go and run marathon. A walk in your neighborhood is good then this might include exercise hobbies med meditation and spending time 
with loved ones. Number five, set realistic goals. Establish achievable objectives for yourself in areas unrelated to the rejection, areas that are unrelated. This can help rebuild your confidence and provide a sense of accomplishment. Number six, focus on your strengths and your accomplishments. You are phenomenal. Tell yourself, I'm, I am born great. I am phenomenal. I am magical. I am a, a miracle waiting to happen. Remind yourself of your positive qualities and past successes. This can help counterbalance any negative feelings associated with the rejection. Number seven, maintain a positive outlook. You can never feature in the future you can picture. Any future you can picture that you can't imagine, you can, you can go there. So make sure that your self-imagination is on the positive outlook. Recognize that rejection is a temporary setback and not a permanent reflection of your abilities of your worth. Number eight, practice mindfulness. This can enhance your emotional equilibrium and resilience by keeping your focus on the present and reducing fixation about the past and anxiety about the future. If you are rejected, go back, know why you are rejected, especially when you are looking for, maybe you are looking for a job or anything. Know where you are rejected, ask questions. They may tell you because you did not do this thing well. Do it well the next time and you will be accepted. Number nine, seek support. Many of us don't seek for help. Seeking for help does not mean that you are weak. It only means you want to remain strong. There is something that happened in my place. I want to do it, put it in. A, a, a brother, a pastor, I was just discussing something with him. I said, what happened? What of your children? Where are they? Have they graduated? He said, none of them. I said, no, it's not right. What happened? What happened? What happened? He told me, I said, okay, let's start from here. And we did the first one and this is working. The second one will work. So this evening he was just thanking me. He said, doctor, I don't know how to thank you. Thank you for your good heart. Excuse me, everything should not be about money. You can give some, somebody good reference, re, re, reference, re, uh, reference. If you know something that will benefit your brother or your sister, why don't you refer that person? Some people, somebody may be wanting to use somebody to, mm, 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 you did not talk, but you have your body language, I've told the person, um, my hands are not there. Don't do that, please. Seek support, reach out to friends, family, and professionals for support. Sharing your experiences and feelings can provide relief and valuable perspectives. Finally, embrace new opportunities. Rejection can sometimes redirect you towards different opportunities that align better with your values and goals. Stay open to life's possibilities. We have come to the end of today's episode. You see, I am fast because we are trying to bring down the, the time we use for this. So if you got value from my discussion with us this night, you can type a 555 or you can type value. This is Great Life with Dr. Afoma and it came to you all the way from Berlin in Germany. Dr. Afoma is not a medical doctor. She has a PhD in guidance and counseling with psychology from the University of Lagos. And she was called to the Ministry of Health and Wellness. So, in 2019, the Lord called her up to begin this program. So if you got value, make sure that you live your life. Don't allow anybody to play. To Don't play second fiddle to anybody. No, no. The only person that you have to, you need to compete with is yourself. That thing that gives you joy, go ahead, do it. Once it doesn't offend God and you don't offend another person, be yourself. And that's the message tonight. So I hope that with this little point, you can see that rejection happens to anybody, every and anybody. But it's your response to the rejection that will make a clear difference between you moving forward and you being visited on the spot. God bless you so very much. God honor you. This is great life with Dr. Afoma and it's reaching your life from Berlin in Germany. Don't worry, I love Nigeria. I will soon be back. God bless you so very much and God honor you. See you next Sunday by God's grace. You can go to my YouTube channel to look for other amazing videos. God bless you. I sincerely thank you for joining and have a pleasant night rest. Bye-bye.